Hello students, in present video, I'm going to explain about 14th problem from triple column cash book topic. I'm taking this question from inter first year Telangana State Telu Academy test book. But this video is helpful to all students who want to know about cash book topic. Question is available in the description box. Let us start the solution. Record the following transactions in cash book with the cash, bank and discount columns. Means triple column cash book he is asking. In question, transactions for April 2019 are given. So by taking this April month transactions, we have to prepare triple column cash book. It contains two sets. Left side is known as debit side to indicate that DR we should write. Right side is called credit side to indicate that CR symbol we should write. And here columns are date, particulars, ledger, folio number, discount, tailored, cash, bank. Credit side also same. Only the difference is instead of discount allowed, discount received column we should open. 1st April 2019, cash balance 8000 rupees. This is called opening cash balance. It is an asset. Asset shows a debit balance. Therefore, debit side we should write. For opening balance, we have to write to balance brought down in cash column 8000 rupees. Next line. Date is not given. Bank balance 14,000. Means on the same day in bank account we have 14,000 rupees amount. So this is also an asset. Therefore debit side only we should show. These two are opening balances. Remaining are transactions. So to write the transactions in triple column cash book there are two methods. One is think the journal entry and post it. Another one is shortcut method. In present video, I'll explain shortcut method. That is, we have cash columns, no? debit side and credit side. Firm is preparing this triple column cash book. Think from firm's point of view. Because of a transaction, if cash is coming into the firm, debit side cash column, we should write that. From the firm, if cash is going, Credit side cash column, we should write that. Similarly, debit side and credit side bank columns we have. Because of a transaction, if bank balance is increasing, debit side bank column, we should write. If bank balance is decreasing, credit side bank column. 3rd April, issued check to Rahul 1450, discount received 50 rupees. So firm has to pay 1500 rupees to Rahul. Instead of giving in cash, firm issued a check. Rahul goes to bank, he withdraws the money. So our bank balance is decreasing. Means credit said we should write. 3rd April, buy Rahul account. Check amount in bank column. Discount is then 50 rupees in discount received column. So to Rahul, we have to pay 1500. In full settlement, we are giving a check for 1450. Means difference 50 rupees discount received. Sixth day sales through net banking 2800. So firm sold goods to customer. Customer should pay cash. Instead of paying in cash, customer paid the money through net banking. Means directly money will get transferred from customer's bank account to our bank account. So after this transaction, our bank balance increases. Means, David said bank column, we should write this. Sixth date, to sales account in bank column, 2,800 rupees. Ninth day, withdrawn cash from bank, 2,900. This is contra entry. Cash deposited into bank, cash withdrawn from bank. These two are contra entries. Withdrawn cash from bank, 2,900. Firm withdrew cash from bank for office use. Cash is coming into the firm. Therefore, David said cash column 2,900 rupees. Date 9th. From bank we withdrew money. So bank balance decreases. Means credit side bank column 9th date. Now, in particular what to write? As we wrote amount in cash column, we have to write to bank account. Here, in bank column, we wrote amount. Therefore, we should write by cash account. 
to indicate that this is contra entry in ls column write down c letter next 11th day received a check from raju 1450 in full settlement of his account 1500 so from raju firm has to receive 1500 rupees in full settlement firm received a check from raju for 1450 So instead of receiving fifteen hundred, only fourteen fifty we are receiving as full settlement. Means fifty rupees discount alone. And in brackets he is giving that check sent to bank. So check we received on eleventh day. On the same day we deposited that check into our bank. Our assumption is our bank collected money from his bank. That amount is deposited in our account on the same day. Means bank balance is increasing. Therefore, debit side bank column we should write how much check value fourteen fifty discount fifty rupees when eleventh day from whom we received this Raju Raju account sixteenth day purchases through debit card two thousand four hundred firm purchase material so in return firm has to pay money. Firm paid that money through debit card, ATM card. Means from firm's bank account money will be paid to supplier. So bank balance is decreasing. Credit side. Sixteenth date. By purchases account in bank column two thousand four hundred rupees. Nineteenth date. Paid cash into bank eight hundred. Here paid means deposited. Firm deposited cash into bank. This is contra entry. Cash is going. Therefore, credit side cash column. Nineteenth date. Amount is eight hundred rupees. We deposited money into bank. So bank balance increases. Therefore, debit side bank column. Eight hundred rupees. Date nineteenth. In LF number, we have to write C letter. Now come to particulars column. In bank column, we wrote amount. Therefore, we should write to cash account. In cash column, we wrote a one no, so we should write by bank account. Twenty four. Purchased machinery four thousand rupees. Supplier's name is not given. Means we purchased for cash. So machinery is coming and cash is going. Cash is going. Therefore, credit side. Twenty fourth date. Now the doubt is what to write in particular column. By purchases or by machinery, when fixed asset is purchased, that asset name we should write. If goods are purchased, we have to write by purchases. Here fixed asset is purchased, no machinery. Write down that asset name. By machinery account, cash is going. Therefore, in cash column, four thousand rupees. Twenty sixth received cash from Shaker three fifty rupees. Discount allowed fifty rupees. Cash is coming. Debit side twenty six date to shaker three fifty cash is coming. Discount fifty rupees. Twenty eight salary six fifty. Firm paid salaries to employees. So from the firm cash is going. Cash is going. So credit side twenty eighth date. Expenditure name by salary account six fifty rupees in cash column. Cash withdrawn from bank for personal use. So from bank owner withdrew money for personal use. Cash is not coming into the firm. Therefore, this is not a contra. Cash is going to owner's house now. So from the bank cash is going. Means bank balance decreases. Therefore, credit side in bank column two thousand three hundred. What to write in particular column? When owner withdraws money for personal use, we should write drawings word. By drawings account, posting work is completed. Next step, balancing. Discount columns we need not to balance. Simply put the totals. Debit total hundred rupees. Credit total fifty rupees. Cash and bank columns we should balance. Observe cash column. Debit total should be more than credit total. Otherwise, problem is wrong because debit side we are writing cash receipts. 
credit side payments how much we receive from that only we pay no therefore debit total should be more than credit total first debit total in rough notes minus credit total find out the difference 5800 which side we should write credit side total is less so credit side we should write 5800 in cash column what to write for this date should be last date of the month 30 by balance carried down two side put the totals highest total 11250 come to bank column debit total is more than credit total in rough notes find out the totals of two columns difference is 10000 rupees credit total is less so credit side in bank column we should write 10000 rupees for 10000 also same day by balance carried down only now two side put the totals highest total 19050 rupees so for april month cash book is completed continuation is may so for may month we have to bring these two balances date should be next immediate date of this date first april 2019 we are bringing balance now therefore write down to balance brought down in cash column 5800 in bank column 10000 rupees so this is the end of present video hope this video is helpful to you thank you